to begin remove the cover of the scanner. There are no screws. Pull it up and remove it. Here you can see the tabs. On the back of the printer, remove the duplexer. Using a flat screwdriver, remove the cover of the control panel. It has hooks in the back. Remove these two screws. They are special screws. You will need a star type screwdriver. Remove the first screw. The second screw. Now you can remove the control panel. Detach the cable. Open the automatic document feeder unit. Here there is a tab. You have to unlock it in this way. Lift up and remove the ADF paper unit. Detach the cable. Remove these four screws. Remove this plastic part. Remove the ADF unit. Remove the screws of the glass. Remove the glass of the scanner. This is uh, the scanner. Detach uh, the two flat cables. Remove the side panel. There are no screws. You have to unlock the ox. Here you can see the ox. On the other side, remove the screw. Slide the side panel and remove it. Remove the flat cables of the scanner unit. This is the position of this part. Remove the two blocks of the upper cover. One of them is here. Another one is here. It has hooks on the back. Open the upper cover. 
remove the four screws of the support. Remove the four screws of the other support. Remove the upper cover. Remove the screws of the upper panel. Here there is another screw. Lift up the upper panel. Detach this connector on the main board. Remove the upper panel. You can remove the printhead if necessary. Do not let it too much time out of the printer. The ink may dry inside the nozzles, damaging the printhead. Remove all the cables of the main board. Remove the screw. Remove this part. Here there is a hook. Remove the screw. Remove this part. Remove the three screws of the front cover. Remove the front cover. Here there are the waste ink parts. You can clean them with water, then let them dry. Remove all the screws of the main board and of the frame of the printed carriage. Some of them are hidden.
remove the caps of the USB and the network plugs. This is the Wi-Fi board. This is the encoder wheel. Be sure it's clean. Lift up the frame of the printer and remove the main board. This is the easier way to remove it. If you want to continue the disassembly, remember that from this point it may be difficult to reassemble the machine if it's the first time you take apart a printer. Remove the spring. On the other side, remove the other spring. Remove the screw. Remove the plastic part. Remove the other screw of the carriage shaft. Slide the carriage shaft to the right. This is the timing strip and the carriage belt. Remove the carriage belt. Unlock the timing strip. Do not bend it. Lift up the cartridge solder. Detach its two cables. On the back, remove this part. Remove the cartridge solder. Remove these wires. Lift up the printer frame. Here there is a screw. These are the paper pickup rubber rollers. Reinstall the screws of the main board and of the frame. Put back the front cover. The three screws. Reinstall this part with the screw. Insert this part. Reinsert the screw. Install all the cables of the main board.
reinstall the printhead if you remove it. Put back the upper cover with its screws. Do not forget the side screw. Reinstall the scanner cover with eight screws. Insert the two plastic parts. Reinsert the cables of the scanner unit. Install the first side panel. Insert the screw. Install the other side panel. Reinstall the scanner. This is the correct position. Put back the glass of the scanner with its grooves. Insert the flat cable in the ADF unit. Reinstall this part. Install the cover of the ADF. Reinsert the four screws. Reinstall the cable of the ADF. Put back the ADF unit. Reinstall the control panel. Insert the two screws. Install the cover of the control panel. Reinstall the cover of the scanner. And the work is done.